hi everyone welcome to another videos for mrcs and uh, it is the question solve session and question solve is one of the best way to prepare for any exam and it will help you a lot to pass the mrcs exam so here the question a 63 years old man who smokes heavily present with dyspepsia he is tested and found to be positive for helicobacter pylori infection one evening he has an episode of hematemesis and collapse what is the most likely vessel to be responsible so after reading the question we have to find out here the key point and based on this key point it will be very easy for us to find out the answer so here we can see 63 years old man uh, who smoke heavily present dyspepsia and found for a helicobacter pylori infection positive and suddenly episodes of hematemesis and collapse so what is the most likely vessel is responsible so we have to find out first of all where the usually blood vessels rupture occur or blood vessel uh, injury occurs during the peptic ulcer disease so in case of peptic ulcer disease two sites are most common one is the duodenum and another one is the stomach but among them among these two uh, the most common is the first part of the duodenum and as the helicobacter pylori so it's also present in the first part of the duodenum so here the options options are portal vein short gastric arteries superior mesenteric artery gastro duodenal artery and none of the above so here in this picture we can see here the stomach and this first part of the duodenum second part third part and fourth part of the duodenum and also some other structures such as liver gallbladder spleen and pancreas are present here and last of all here the long structure that is abdominal aorta so peptic ulcer this is very common in the this area and this area and we can see here this is the artery which is going behind the first part of the duodenum so peptic ulcer disease is the first part of the duodenum may erode the posterior wall of the duodenum and it may damage the gastro duodenal artery so from the gastro duodenal artery blood comes into uh, this area and it causes vomiting uh, uh, vomiting with blood that means hematemesis and it may also cause melena so for peptic ulcer disease uh, by helicobacter pylori infection helicobacter pylori infection there is clinical feature most important this is the hematemesis and second one this is the melena so in this picture we can see this is stomach first part of the duodenum and second part third part and in this picture we can see the gastro duodenal artery it passing just behind the first part of the duodenum so here the gastro duodenal artery it is uh, pass uh, behind the first part of the duodenum and ulcer in this area or peptic ulcer disease in this area usually cause erosion of the gastro duodenal artery and it is all of the large artery we can see here it uh, arises very close to the outer first of all celiac trunk then common hepatic artery and common hepatic artery it arises so it is one of the large branch and it uh, receives blood from the outer so there is a huge bleeding occurs in this picture we can see the operative procedure here first of all cutting the anterior wall of the first part of the duodenum then uh, posterior wall is secured so here the gastro duodenal artery this gastro duodenal artery passing the first part of the duodenum and this is very important artery because it is one of the large artery and hematemesis occurs immediately after rupture or erosion of this vessel so our final answer is gastro duodenal artery this gastro duodenal artery uh, due to rupture of the gastro duodenal artery or erosion of the gastro duodenal artery episode of hematemesis and may collapse may occur thank you all